Hello everyone. So today we are going to work on replication of the inventory system that we worked on. So here, let me show you. This is a client. Here as a client, if I pick up sort and go to the inventory, you can see that appears in the inventory. And here the bigger screen is a server. As a server also, let me pick up a few weapons and the shield. And if I go to the inventory here, and you see two swords appears in the uh, right hand side weapons and the shield appears in the left hand side weapons. So yeah, this is what we are going to work on today. And here we are going to do one important change into the system that we have already implemented. That is, I uh, earlier I used game instance to store all the data related to the inventory uh, but game instance is not suitable for replication and multiplayer purposes so therefore I'm going to migrate those variables and interface events from game instance into the player states because that's much more suitable and e convenient for replication purposes okay so before we get started i'd like to remind you you can download the project files of this project and all other thousands of projects uh, from the patreon page once you become a member you can download anything without any limits so feel free to check it out i'll leave the link in description below and this is a part of this section rpg with gameplay ability system series so you can watch all these episodes as well from my channel i leave the link in the description below for the full playlist right so now let's get back to today's tutorial okay so now if i change the net mode to client and play the game what happened okay so here if I press inventory it works but here we don't have anything yet but let me just grab something first here like this and now go to the inventory still nothing is there so that's because and we got an error as well yeah but that's fine that's not the focus here so this happens because we are playing as the client where is it let me remove the enemy we don't need to complicate things so but if i play as the server no problem should occur let's see Now the weapons are there. So there is a problem here. I have stored, we've collected weapon data, basically inventory data in the game instance. The game instance is, if you don't remember, it's assigned here and we have right hand weapons left hand weapons so all those things but the problem is game instance is not something that will be replicated it will persist through levels but that is not something we can replicate so the best place to store this data would be player state so let's create a player state print play state I'll name it CLM player state and assign it here as the player state class okay now 
in the game instance we have these functions that I have implemented through this BM BPI game instance interface so let me change this uh, instead of that I'll name it BPI player state okay and this category also player state that would be more machine now now I'll I'll remove this but first let's go to the player state and copy all those things so copy the variables and then functions so functions would be basically did i implement the uh, interface no okay all right now here we got the functions and this get left hand weapons should basically return this array and get right hand weapons just returns this and this add collectible class this is uh, event so here this is what i do there we have already worked on this so let without an explanation i'll just copy it by the way if you don't remember you can watch to the episodes where we started where we worked on the inventory system there I explained in detail how did I come up with all these events. Right, this doesn't seem aligned. Okay, okay, now this I'll mark as replicated. This to replicated. Okay, and now let's see where do we use these functions they are used in game instance where are we? so yeah here in the heart so now instead of using this get game instance i'll use get player character and get player state and use that instead okay and this is for left hand weapon inventory so I'll do the same Oh, right hand weapon inventory as well yeah now this is where I retrieve so where do I add that means where do I use this add collectible class yeah now maybe instead of this here we can from the other actor we can get control no here we can't use this get player character and get player state because this uh, weapon may be collected by an npc character as well so what we can do is i think let's set up a event in the in the base character through the 
API, which one? Yeah. Uh, is this the best interface? Maybe since the items are related to mostly weapons, I think I'll use weapon builder interface, right? Now here, I'll add a function, add to character inventory. And as a parameter, I need to pass collectible class. GA collect sort, that's the type. And it's a class reference. GA now I'll just call it collectible class right now let's go back to the base the present character base and here um, let's add to character inventory now we can get collectible class right okay now here in the collectible sort class I'll instead of this I'll use on the other actor add to character inventory like this okay all right now let's test oh wait before that what am i Okay, let me have three separate instances and I'll play in a new editor window. Okay, so here, let me first pick this weapon and check in the inventory yeah I got that okay now let me pick this one as well just for testing yeah I got that too oh equip part is not working but we will address that maybe in another episode we still need to work on properly replicating the inventory Let's just see how the weapons come. Okay, here. Now the character also got this. And this guy. Yeah, I got that too. All right, so now it replicates properly. One more thing. I was testing as all of them were clients so if I make it less than server this is client this is client this is server this should work anyway let me just test yeah I see we have now available weapons and I forgot this actually well, I don't think I collected the uh, shield. We don't have a shield here. Right. Yeah. 
Collect shared. Let me quickly test that too. Yeah, that's also there. All right. So, um, oh, one thing that I forgot to show. So earlier, so let me go to this collectible. So earlier, what I had done for here is I spawned the actor using this ability class and collectible actor class, and I have removed that part. The reason is in a multiplayer environment this is not destroyed when i collect the weapon i was using this set life is fine but this destroy is not working if unless i specifically replicate that uh, destroying part so what i did was in the construction script i added the child actor component and set the child actor class as the abilities collectible actor class and it appears nicely as this uh, whatever the object uh, ability class based on whatever the ability class that I have selected here see so that approach is much better than what I implemented previously but I forgot to show that in real time when I do the change so yeah that's how I have done it okay uh, one more thing here if I have a default weapon assigned for the player this may not appear see I already have a default weapon but if I go to the inventory that's not appearing here and we got an error as well so the reason is in they were let's go back to the base I at default weapons should be in the begin play right here so here I just activate the mass ability but I need to add them also using at to character inventory and I can't use this class because this is a gameplay ability class but I can cast to GA collectible GA collect sword class now I it should work okay let me make this a bit cleaner all right now they also should appear let's see yeah they appear in here on client and also on server yeah great okay so so that's all for today and updated project files I'll post them in the patron page and in next time I'll work on the rest of the changes that we need to implement in order to make the inventory system uh, work in the multiplayer environment and obviously feel free to let me know if you encounter any issues bugs anything in the system i'll address them as well and don't forget to like and subscribe see you in the next episode goodbye